Um, fortunately for us, you succeeded in becoming an actor, um, but uh, I was wondering uh, if you had different dreams as a kid or a teenager, or did you have a plan B when you first tried to start as an actor, if it didn't work out? Well, um, I mean, I, I grew up um, in Atlanta, Georgia, and there wasn't a lot of acting going on there when I was a kid, to be honest. And uh, my mom was, was a graphic designer in the theater and music industry, so I was around it a bit there. My father is a production designer in the film business, so uh, when he, he was already living in California, and I would travel out to California with my sister and visit him on summer breaks and, and go on sets. And I understood you know, what it took to make a movie or a TV show or whatever. Uh, but I didn't have aspirations because I lived in Atlanta. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, this, this, it was, seemed impossible to me. But, uh, and, and oddly enough, like really, um, because we also wasn't in, in uh, I was sort of in a, in a, a medium to low class, <laughs> you know, financially with my uh, single mom and two kids. So we, you know, it, we, we, uh, we lived in, in a world where there didn't seem like a whole lot of opportunity out there and my five best friends that I grew up with in Atlanta all went into the military. <laughs> so I think that if I hadn't moved to Los Angeles when I did, I might have ended up in the military as well. But uh, I, I moved to, my mom ended up transferring with the job that she was working. They had offices in Los Angeles and uh, so she was able to transfer to those offices and we moved there when I was about 11 years old. And um, and within within about a year, I'd already started uh, in an in an acting class uh, for kids and uh, did some um, performances for agents and managers, and ended up signing with an agent and started auditioning, and then started working you know very soon after that. So uh, I wasn't like I was discovered, and you know my, my dad certainly didn't you know uh, help me out by introducing me to. It was nothing like that. It wasn't like insider trading or anything like it. It was all uh, just a normal process. Uh, but the one benefit was that I was still a kid, so I didn't have bills to pay, and it's much easier to develop and work and build a, a career when you know you're not worried about you know wh where's the next paycheck coming from how am i going to pay the rent how am i going to take care of this or that it's you know so by the time i was 18 uh was when i started on the tv series parker lewis can't lose and i had done quite a bit of work before that but you know right out of high school suddenly i was you know on a tv series and that was uh you know you make more than enough money to survive when you're doing one of those so uh it was uh it was interesting um, to go, you know, kind of like right out of high school to like, you know, geez, this is, this is, this is amazing, <laughs> you know, because normally it's, a, I think most people, it's much, you know, you have to work so much longer and harder to have that kind of income uh, in, in different industries. So it was, uh, it was interesting. I mean, it, I had to learn a lot very quickly and, uh, and, and some, some of it very slowly. Because it was it was difficult to grow up when you didn't have to, <laughs> you know. So a blessing and a curse, as I call it. <laughs>